Hi everyone, Coach Sullivan here again with MJS Coaching Football. To my subscribers, I thank you. Not subscribers, I'm hoping I can teach you into pushing that button. This past fall, I completed my 38th year coaching football and I was a defensive coordinator. But over that time, I've also been an offensive coordinator, special teams coordinator, a longtime head coach, and all of this at both the collegiate and high school levels. In this presentation, what I'd like to talk to you about is what we call cross, and it's one of our sniper games, okay? And it's it's part of what we call an easy cross concept within the sniper game, okay? So sni our sniper game is divided up into various concepts, but they all have one thing in common, and I'll get to that in this presentation, okay? So this, I'm going to show it to you when we're anticipating either zone or power read and RPO, okay? So over here, I got the key terms in order to execute cross, and then over here, I'm going to diagram it for you, okay? So first up in the key terms, number one is cross itself, okay? We want to take aim at the quarterback read, which is the basic foundation of our sniper games, right? Take aim. So letter A, this involves a defensive line, an inside and an outside linebacker, as you'll see. Okay, and what we're going to get is we're going to get a quarterback keep read versus zone and possibly versus power read. Okay, that one's a little bit iffy, as you'll see, because we're going to be playing base defense over here. Okay, and then letter C is what we call the easy cross concept and that means it specifically involves an exchange between the outside linebacker and the defensive end okay so it's a sniper game taking aim at the quarterback read and then within that it's an, what we call an easy cross concept where the outside linebacker and the d end are going to exchange all right and then d the inside linebacker on the call side is automatically static. So then number two, the purpose of cross, we want to determine the read for the quarterback, just like in any of our sniper game concepts. We're going to mix up our quarterback defenders. We're going to be able to have multiple quarterback defenders. We're also going to be able to sell it on the dive, okay, which is the zone read or the inside read in the power read, which is the quarterback, okay? And then as far as coverage versatility, we can give you a one high coverage and a two high coverage. Today I'm going to show it to you out of our one high, what we call trio coverage, one of our zone blitz coverages. Nine subscribers, push the button. Okay, and the other one would be Carolina, we could stay too high. Okay, so now over here, I have a diagram for you, what we call 11 gun Dallas, 11... Um, Personal 11 formation, you got a tight end on one side, twins on the other. Okay, so this will be the twin portion of it, and this is the pro side, see tight end. Okay, we have an offset halfback. It's best versus an offset halfback, although it doesn't have to be. Okay, so this would be the zone read side. You got to coach your players up on this, and no wide receiver motion, assuming there's no motion. This, therefore, would be the power read side. And this is the side where it might be an iffy read, okay, as you'll see when I go over it, okay? So over here, this is what we call a lucky. We want to do it to the offset halfback side. So west would be a lucky. East would be a ringo. Now lucky kicks in Louie, okay? So let me first go over the zone read side because that's going <laughs> to – highlight the cross concept okay so here is the the you know the quarterback inside hand zone read now the read for the quarterback could be either the dn or the outside linebacker okay so on the snap of the football okay he's gonna what we say flash which means he's Pressure key is still the tackle, so he's going to shoot hands, but he's going to flash, which means take a lateral step into B-gap. Don't gain any ground. Meanwhile, the outside linebacker, is it's executing a go, 
which means first level aiming point, butt of the tackle, but then he's a bender, right? He's bending hard. He is first, which means he is dive, okay? The defensive end flashes and then loops second for quarterback. Okay, should time up, and the dime does it from his detached alignment. So by the time he shoots, flash steps, and loops out, that dime's going to be gone. Okay, so that's the cross concept. Outside linebacker, Dia, and they're exchanging. Okay, so I'm just going to go over this right now. On the snap of the football, the free would be screwing down. As he's screwing down, he's reading surface. So he's got sky, which means he has force. He reads run. Otherwise, he would be hot on number two. And Louie says this opposite safety on the snap is rotating deep middle. Again, reading surface on the way. Okay. So then the other portion of the portion, excuse me, of this is our inside linebacker who has static. All right, his play side foot, in this case his left foot's going to be the back foot. He just sits in static. I mean, he's at four yards, that up foot. Static means he reads the mesh. Right? Mix up quarterback, multiple quarterback defenders. So we have defensive ends, a quarterback, inside linebackers, the quarterback, if he were to keep it, and he should keep it here. Right? This should be a keep. So then he would fold over, and there are your two quarterback defenders. Okay? Nose, the opposite DN, opposite outside linebacker, opposite inside linebacker, are all playing base defense. Opposite outside linebacker has force, orbit, because safety's rotate. Okay? So that is the cross game, and that's how it would – defend the zone read. So now if it's the power read, right? Again, assuming there's no motion. Well, here's what's going to happen. We're assuming that the read is there. 51 technique. Pressure key, visual key, right? He's going to shoot hands. Assuming that that's the read. I don't know if we're going to get an outside release, an arc release, or a veer release to try and high wall. Not sure which it would be. But this defensive end is the B-gap defender. Okay, he's the B-gap defender. So that could be a give read. He sees the hat in the B-gap, so he gives it to the back. Or it could be a keep read because this guard is going to be pulling around, right? So that's the one that's a little bit iffy. My guess would be it's a give read, okay? He's flowing over the top. He has force, okay? If we get that kind of action, he's going to fight pressure with pressure. On this with the pull, he's going to be over the top. Okay, so let's get back to this. He's the dive. He would also continue and take quarterback, cop in a field, nice and tight. Okay, so he would be quarterback coming from the backside. He would be quarterback. He would be quarterback. The halfback, right, the outside portion of it. So this is the one that actually might plant a little seed of doubt in the quarterback's head. And he's just playing our base defense, so he's in a happy place, our, our kid. Over here, without question, right, it's a keep read. Over here, could be keep, could be give. Okay? But that is what we call the cross concept within our sniper game. So as I said at the beginning, my subscribers, I thank you. Not subscribers, I hope you push the button. 
Anybody, any questions, please reach out to me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com. I'd like to thank you for watching MGS Coaching Football, and I'd like to thank YouTube for providing this platform.